I mean, I can just not love that gum sole. I'm not gonna lick it though, that's just nasty. It's been on the floor already. Gum sole. It's not, that's life. It's life. Two more shoes. Well, I'm only gonna choose one or the other. And I don't know which one's in the box. In either box, sir. And a nice little thing. It's more than just a box, it's part of Nike's journey towards zero carbon and zero waste to help set the future of the sport. That is why the box has been optimised, reduced half of its average carbon footprint. It is also produced in the FSE certified materials, ensuring cardboard comes from recycled sources and the wood from well managed forests. Please reuse and then recycle this box. It's pretty good, that. Oh, too easy. Too easy. I can get it out. Pull it to the side. Pull the slides out. I'm guessing this is Reacts and this is Megons. Oh, we're well, now. So, I'm excited, you know. Got these in the sale, which were more than 50% off. I'm not a fan of this colorway. I did add the basket and add a certain color to the basket. And then I waited till the night and then it went out of stock. And I didn't know these until Joe told me. But I'm loving the gum sole. Just they look nice, but are they train worthy? <laughs> so obviously I've already got a pair of Metcon 6s. So I'm not actually gonna try these. I'm gonna try the um, Reacts. See how they feel. So then I can actually return these and if these are decent. Yeah. These are a little tight out of the box, but kind of like a good tie. Kind of like a good, maybe perfect fit, nine and a half. Bunch of things perfectly. And these are the Metcon 6 in a blue and a bleach aqua and red and white. Not burgundy and white. I'm not fun with the white because I don't look after white on any shoes. So verdicts might possibly be these bad boys. I mean I can just not love that gum sole. I'm not gonna lick it though, that's just nasty. It's been on the floor already. Gum sole. Stop, that's life. Chase! Okay, time for the review of the Night React 1, I think. It must be the first one. Yeah, so after about five months of trying these, wearing these, doing weightlifting, didn't do much running, I just did kind of, whenever I do running, I just do like um, short sprint, short runs. So 10 meter, 20 meter kind of stuff in my training. So pretty good shoe. I kind of went these went to these as a go-to for like any fast workouts or like workouts where I don't do a lot of lifting. Cause they are a tiny bit lighter in a way. Um, just feel lighter on your feet if, if anything. Um, Cause you can just slip them on, slip them off quite easy rather than having to go down and be laces and stuff like that. They are exceptionally well for double unders. Cause when I tie my laces sometimes, don't tie my laces, very good. And these, I literally, I don't even change it. I don't know why I pull that. When you pull that, it goes quite tight. But when I put them on, I just put them on like this. I'm good to go. I never really usually pull that thing there. Kind of like a drawstring, I never pull that. Um, I don't need to, they're quite comfortable the way they are. Um, as far as wear and tear, been all right. The only no noticeable thing I've got is the night badge, or the night logo, sorry. Just there on, on the left one, it's worn out a bit. I think that might be possibly be from, yeah, rope climbs. Because I go right, leg over. So then the rope would be, no. Yeah, I go right leg over, but it rubs on there. And um, the sole is exactly the same as the Metcon 6s and the Metcon 5s. Um, yeah, and also these are gum soles. I love a gum sole trainer, and this is what I went with. As far as comfortable, comfortability, if that even is a word, they're pretty good. I prefer the comfortable wise, I prefer these over the Metcon 6s because slip them on, they're quite. Um, 
more flexible with the sole or comparing to the Mech 1 6s. One sec. Compared to these. Probably are a tiny bit heavier, the Mech 1 6s, compared to the Nike Reacts. I think simply because of the tongue and everything like that, possibly. So yeah, flexibility wise, it's just the sole feels a lot more mobile. I mean, not as rigid as the Metcon 6. There's not much difference, but the sole's probably the same. But it just feels a lot more freer. I use these for all kind of workouts. Pretty much same as the Metcons. If you're wanting anything to do like workouts in, I recommend the Nike React. So the Metcon 6s, I say the Metcon 6s a bit are a bit better simply because you can kind of, if you have, like for me, I have one ankle smaller than the other, I think, slightly. And with the Metcons, I, I can tie them tight to my ankle. Whereas with these, they're the same. I don't really want to tighten this because it feels too tight in my foot. I really enjoy these. They're pretty good for all kind of stuff. Stuff? Stuff. Stuff. All kind of things when you train. And I also almost forgot one thing. The insole is actually different. That's probably why they feel a bit lighter. They're, they are a reacting sole. Insole here, a little bit spun. This one is a little bit spongier compared to the Nightmare console on the heel. Um, same um, on the, the bear, what's it called? No, these, yeah, these are about the same on the balls of the shoe, of the insole, sorry. Um, that's the insides if you want to have a look at that. That's the bottoms. And whereas with the Metcon Z, Metcon 5 and 6, you get a heel raise, I think it says on it. It's like, probably about, yeah, sorry. It's 8 mil insole to put in the shoe in the Metcons, whereas the React, you don't get an insole insert. But I think, I think I'll try it on now. You just slip them in, pop that, push the heel to the back, slide your shoe in, put the shoe in. And I've never actually tried with these with the Reacts. Slide the insole through, like so. Yeah. Feels the same way it does when you put it in a Metcon. I'm actually trying these because when you're doing pistols, you don't really want a heavy foot. That's the main reason why I wear um, these inserts. I've not really worn them recently because I actually flared up my tendonitis doing um, pistols. So I've not squatted for the past week and a half, maybe two weeks. Um, but as far as putting them in those insoles, it's pretty good. Whew, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time.